All right, so here we are in the Mass Page Creator Template Editor, and you can see here it's a very what you see is what you get, very much like editing a Word document or a WordPress page. Uh, so what we can do is go in here on the headline, and we can replace this text uh, with whatever we want, and we can use variables that we set up in the control panel. If we click Bars button, you can see we've got keyword, city, and state, and bug, bug, and, uh, bug type, and we can choose uh, whatever we want of those and enter that into the template very easily. So in this case, let's say we want to say something like ant problems in city, uh, you found the right place, or something like that. So what we do is come in here and select this and say uh, bug type title case, meaning to capitalize the first letter, bug type problems in, and then we want city, that's going to be title case, first letter capitalized question mark you found the right place okay and then we come through and we modify our template accordingly let's say right here I want to put uh, I want to put uh, something like uh, keyword in state comma or keyword in city comma state so I'd go keyword title case in city title case comma space state title case okay so it enters all that stuff in there for you you don't have to worry about uh, knowing what all that means as long as you can follow city and you can put it in and all of these different cases very easy to follow okay so let's go ahead and do our first bullet point okay so we'll say something like fast affordable keyword and that can be in lowercase fast affordable keyword in and then our city in title case okay, our next bullet okay and here we might say something like ensure complete and then keyword lowercase okay and then you, you get the point. So you can come through here and you can modify all of this content uh, using these. Okay, so I'm going to go through here and I'm going to modify this content. Uh, and I'll paste that in here as I'm done. Okay, so I've gone through here now and I've modified my template with some content. Uh, you can see I've typed in bug type uh, in sentence case. Okay, so it's going to make the first letter of the bug type uh, ants or roach or whatever it is. Um, it's going to make the first letter capitalized. Okay, and then I've got my text here, and you can see I've entered variables anywhere, anywhere I want them. And I've even bold, bolded some variables uh, just for SEO, good SEO purposes. Okay, and then we want to do our image. We can even parameterize our image. Uh, for example, if we call all of our pictures uh, the same thing that we're going to call our bug type, like if I name my ant, ant picture ant.jpg, then all I got to do is come in here and put the exact path to my image and put a parameter right where I want the name of the file. So that would look something like this. Okay, so that's an exact path to my ant image. It's in my images folder in the public underscore HTML directory of my domain. Okay, but instead of putting ant there, I want a variable uh, because I want to put that as the bug type so the picture matches. So I'm going to name my pictures after my bug type. I'm going to put something like this. Okay, all done. Hit OK. Alright, of course that doesn't show up until the page gets built. Alright, so we've got a basic template going here. Uh, the other thing we can do is even modify the metadata. If we come in here and find our title information of our page. So, uh, for example, here's the title. Um, maybe I want to put keyword <coughs> in city and then maybe a pipe bar and put best keyword in the state okay something like that okay and then same thing with uh, all my keywords and my descriptions all of this area can be completely customized uh, using the, 
the buttons just like in the uh, WYSIWYG editor. Okay, so let's go back and let's go ahead and save this page now. Uh, we're going to click finished. All right, and that takes us to where we can save the page. And in this case, we're going to call this one bug template dot html. Okay, and we'll go ahead and save that. All right, now we're ready to start building pages. Let's head back over to the control panel and go to the next video.